What's up? It's the girl, girl, Quinny. Yes. Oh my goodness, y'all. I look a mess, but today is one of them days. Uh, it's the weekend. I need to get my nails fixed. I just threw on something. Threw on a little here and got my little backup glasses. So, yeah, whatever. So today, guys, I am doing a food review and I'm going to be chit-chatting a little bit. I got to make this quick because I got things to do. I got to go pick up my daughter um and yeah i'm not trying to be late for that so anyway so i went to a place called witch witch superior sandwiches and i've been wanting to try this place for the longest um it was hooked on next to a shell gas station so they have their own part and then it's the gas station so when you walk in there i didn't know this guys so this was new to me the lady had to show me um shot out to the beautiful staff over there um they are so sweet we chatted it up um and yeah i'm sure they'll be seeing my face again but anyway when you walk in there they have like different uh slots with these in there um these bags and then you just like check what you want um i got the wicked it's regular size i got american cheese it comes with three different cheeses you can put on there i just got american um, I got red onion, banana peppers, pickles, tomatoes. Mind you, I only like certain tomatoes on certain things. Not certain tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes on certain things. Um, I got, did I say banana peppers? Um, lettuce, black olives, regular mayo. I got three different mustards, yellow honey, and Dijon. I got black pepper and oregano. So this is what it comes with. I also got this cute cup. I just wanted this cup because you could take it home. This was uh, $2. So the whole thing came up to about nine something. Uh, yeah, so this is their cup. Um, so yeah, we're going to try this together. Like I said, I, I probably, I don't know whether I'm going to have time to eat the whole sandwich, but I got to go. Plus, I got to stop and get gas. But yeah, let's try it. That's what it looks like, y'all. And yes, I'm at the park because I know at the house, it's just chaos and noise. And I'm not trying to be there right now. Mm. 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 The bread is toasted, by the way. Which I like. Mm. 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 Okay then. This is good, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -mm -mm. So, how was you guys this Christmas? Mine was good. Um, it was so sad yesterday. My mom was leaving. And FYI, my mom's not a crier, but. I could sense she was getting emotional yesterday. When she hugged me. By the way, in here is Sierra Miss um, Lemonade and Fruit Punch mixed together. But yeah, I enjoyed my family when they came. We had so much fun. You know, when me and my sister link up, it's always a good time. And guys, don't forget to go over to the Escobar, the Escobar's channel, which is my sister's uh, channel. She's a new YouTuber, so she's got her channel with my sister in love. Um, so go check out their channel. Mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And I want to do a uh, a Christmas review with the kids to see how they like their toys and stuff. But like I said, I got to go pick my daughter up. So we got to wait till she come back to do the, re the review. So... A lot of people are asking what are New Year's resolutions or whatever. I think they're cool, but I honestly feel like some people don't stick to them. Me being one of them. I 
I feel like in life it's good to have goals. But I also feel like I do things that I want to do when I want to do them. So it is what it is for me. Mm. This bread is good too. But um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to touch on: having relationships in social media. Comment down below. When do you think is a good time to say you're in a relationship with somebody on social media? I ask this question because. I see a lot of people are quick to post their relationship with so-and-so and so-and-so. And then, when a relationship don't work out, it's either you talking bad about that person or either you throwing subliminal messages at that person. I'm the type, and my social media... You will see pictures of J Rod here and there. But my social media is just what I said. My social media. So some things I think should just be between you and your significant other. I'm gonna save this for later. I gotta go. But um yeah. What do y'all feel? I mean, that's just, just my opinion now. I mean, it's not written in stone. But, um, yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, because I feel like Social media always, people out there are always going to have something to say that's on your social media. Like, oh, you seen so-and-so. Let's just say you got John and Jack. Jack and John. I said J Jack and John. Jack and John. All right, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Let's say, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, this might be a better angle, but it ain't. <laughs> so, I might say... Jack and Jill. That's who. The, that's who I meant to say. I said Jack and John. It could be Jack and John. Who knows? Anyway, so let's say we got Jack and Jill and Jack and John. Okay. They in a whole relationship. They're together for a month. And I mean, I get it. When you're in a relation, when you're in a new relationship, you want to let everybody know you're so in love with this person. Oh, it's the vibe. Da, 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 da. And I'm not going to lie. This is me included now. Let me just tell you, when I first got with J-Rod, you know, of course it's going to be sweet. When you're in a relationship for the first time, everything is sweet. But, you know, you start feeling each other out and be like, okay, I don't like this about you. You don't like this about me. For example, it was one time me and him got into it and he got on Facebook and showed his you know what. And I had to yank him up and tell him. You have to respect the queen, okay? You have to respect me. But yeah, so my whole thing is it's up to you whether you choose to put it out there like that. But some things should be between you and that person because if it goes south, then you ain't looking crazy. You feel me? Anyway, so yeah, today I got to go pick up my baby. I'm so excited to see her. I missed her. We had Christmas without her. This is my first Christmas without my baby. But she went with her uh, dad's side of the family. So I hope she had an amazing time. I just came from the nail salon. I broke two nails. I went to go do a good deed, y'all. I went to go donate some clothes and a little shoot and a flap came down on my nails and broke my nails so i was so distraught so i was like yesterday i was so tired we uh went sightseeing you know i, I think my mom had a phenomenal time i know she did because when she had to hug me twice and she kissed me and, and it, her voice got shaky so i knew my job was done yeah, they call my mama Darth Vader because, like, growing up, like, my mom really didn't show emotion. So, 
she was kind of hardcore but i think she really proud of me and my sister you know we down here on our own doing it you know doing it but i always was a type that kind of liked to be off to myself because i don't want nobody popping up at my crib be like oh god what you got to eat today even though i'm a gracious host i must say that say that but guys i'm gonna keep this short and simple my review on this sandwich is phenomenal i've been wanting this yesterday but babe was like oh you know we got food in the fridge i'm like that girl that i love to go out to eat i don't want stuff in the fridge right now but anyway i end up eating it anyway but yeah guys go check out which oh this cup holder would not do right go check out which which um just google it they have different locations like i said mine was hooked onto the shell gas station so yeah make sure you like this video up comment subscribe share this with a friend a friend a friend a friend and until next time stay positive stay safe and make sure you go check out my sister's channel the escobars I would leave that. I'm going to leave it in another YouTube description. But just look up the Escobars and look for somebody that look like me. Anyway, you'll, you'll know what she looked like because we just did a Christmas video. So go check them out. Her and my sister in love. Their YouTube banger. They put up a video with the girl on it. So go check them out. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive.